friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. Happy Friday, happy Friday friends. It is a Friday, it is Christmas Eve. I decided to pop on a red lip and a red top to bring in all the holiday vibes for today's weigh-in video. We are going to talk about my week. We'll set some goals moving into the final week of December, the final week of 2021. Wow, can you even believe it. We're also going to talk about this week's WW workshop topic. And of course, as always, I'm going to be sharing this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel or you're not yet subscribed, I would love to have you join our community. It's a pretty fun place to be. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do a weigh-in every single Friday. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. Both of these are great as we move into the new year. You'll also find links and discounts to all of my favorite things and my Facebook group. We would love to have you over there as we move into 2022. We have lots of fun and exciting things planned. So head on over, join us on Facebook. Let's jump in to this week's Christmas Eve weigh-in. Again, Merry Christmas Eve. I am pretty excited that it's Christmas Eve. This is really when my family does the bulk of its celebrating. Generally, Christmas Eve is myself and my husband, my mom and her boyfriend, and my cousin, his wife, and their two grown children. His do Their daughter is 21 and their son is 17. Everybody comes over to our house and we play games. We have lots of good food, cocktails, and we just enjoy each other's company. It's really the one time a year that I get to see my cousin and his family which is extra special on Christmas Eve for us. Of course, today is going to look a little different than past years. I'm not able to indulge in all the sweet treats that I normally would, but I made some really good food that works with the way that I'm eating, and I'm excited to have a Christmas Eve healthy dinner. I'm not tracking. I'm not worrying so much about calories or points. I'm just going to enjoy the holidays. It's a holiday, not a holiday week, not a holiday month. After Christmas Day is over, right back to tracking and being 100% on track. I'm going to still drink my gallon of water over the holidays in hopes to kind of flush out all the goodies that I'm eating, but I'm really excited for Christmas. It's one of my favorite holidays during the year. I have a huge non-scale victory that I would like to share with you guys. I made my famous sugar cookies on Wednesday, two days ago, and guess who didn't have a single bite, lick, or taste? I'm shocked because my cookies are one of my favorite, favorite things. I told myself that I could have one cookie on Christmas Eve and that is it. So I didn't even taste anything. So hopefully they're good. Oh, they should be good, but I didn't taste anything and I'm saving up for Christmas Eve. So that's a huge win for me. Normally I'm tasting the batter. I'm putting my finger in the frosting. I'm getting a little extra sugar on the day that I make the cookies. And this year, zip. Zilch nada. I'm super, super proud of that little non-scale victory. The rest of my week went really, really well, and I'm really excited to move into January. You will be seeing on this Sunday my goals video where I'm going to share with you my new vision board. I purchased the most amazing vision board off of Amazon. We're going to talk about my goals for 2022, and we'll recap my goals for 2021, and I'll let you know whether or not I reach those. So everything is going really well. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling much more satisfied eating a real whole food diet. It's made a huge, huge different in, difference in satiety for me. I will be doing an update a little bit later on how things are going and what no, changes that I've noticed besides the scale when it comes to this kind of new way of following the program. But before we jump into this week's weigh-in, I want to share with you this week's WW workshop topic. This one speaks directly to me. And that is how to hit the brakes on speedy eating. I will tell you right now that I am a super fast eater. I have always been a super fast eater. I will have my dinner finished and the kitchen cleaned up before my husband has even finished his dinner. So like I said, this week's topic 
is perfect for me. WW wants to share some tips on how to stop eating so quickly and really enjoy your meals. What's important about this is it takes time for your stomach to send your brain the signal that you've consumed a meal and that you're satisfied in full. So if you're eating really quickly, it doesn't give your body enough time to signal that you've had that meal. So we generally overeat or overindulge. If we slow down and really savor our food, it gives our body time to understand that we've eaten and chances are we're going to eat less and even better yet, we're going to enjoy what we're eating a lot more. So some tips from WW, number one is to pause. Take a look at your plate and enjoy what you're seeing. Look at all those beautiful colors on your plate from the fruits and the vegetables and the and the protein that you've chosen. Really take a good look and admire and appreciate the beautiful colors on your plate. Number two is an interesting tip, and this is to use your non-dominant, which would be my left hand, to consume your meal rather than your dominant hand. This is automatically, physically going to slow you down. And here's another one that I can do, and that is to match your pace of eating to the slowest eater at your table. And in that case, that in my case, that's my husband. Like I said, he's a slower eater. He generally doesn't finish his plate where I always finish my plate. Again, because I'm eating so quickly, he's eating so slower, his body is registering his meal. So match the pace of the slowest eater at your table and see if that helps automatically slow down your eating. And number four is to go back and forth between talking and eating. So take a bite, have a conversation. Set your fork down, take another bite, have a conversation, pick your fork back up. That way you're engaging in conversation, you're present in the moment, you're not eating but while being distracted, and again, you're slowing down just naturally by talking in between those bites. Now reflect on how that worked for you. Did you notice that by following some of these tips, did it slow down your eating? Did you feel like you didn't have to necessarily finish your plate before being satisfied? Really reflect back and see what tips worked for you and what didn't, and maybe what tips you can implement in the future. Again, by slowing down your eating, you're going to eat less naturally. You're going to feel more satiated because your body has time to register your meal. And overall, it's just a really good habit to get into to slow down your eating. I know for me that I am taking this 100% to heart. And at tonight's dinner on Christmas Eve, I'm going to match the pace of the other people at my table. I'm not going to scarf all my food down. I'm really going to enjoy conversation and take a bite set my fork down, enjoy some more conversation, and so on and so forth. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you suffer from fast eating like I do, and if you have any other tips and tricks on how you've slowed down your eating, definitely let us know down in the comments. So now let's go ahead and jump in to this week's weigh-in. Like I said, I've had a really good week. I'm proud of myself for not eating cookies or frosting or dough or any of the things when I made my sugar cookie. I'm enjoying my whole food diet. It's definitely playing a huge part in how how satiated I feel and really how many calories I need every day to feel that satiated, which is quite an interesting concept. And better yet, when I stepped on the scale, I am down another 1.2 pounds. 1.2. I have lost over a pound for the last two weeks. I know. I'm as shocked as you are, but I am so, so happy. And I really feel that the foods that I'm choosing is playing a huge, huge, huge part. I always say our body digests whole real food much easier and more efficiently than processed food. And I think that's what's made the difference in how satiated I'm feeling as well as my weight loss on the scale. I can't wait for next week's weigh-in. It is the final Friday in the month of December. So I'll be sharing with you, of course, my overall weight loss for December. And in my goals video, we'll go over my overall weight loss for the year, but I couldn't be happier. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling a lot better. I can't wait to get on my thyroid medication to really amp up my weight loss a little bit more and just get my body more regulated so that I'm not as fatigued and tired. I am still suffering from a lot of fatigue, so I'm hoping that my thyroid medication will help with that as well, but I'm really happy with this week's weigh-in, and it's a great way to go into Christmas. Now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week leading up to Christmas was. Did you gain? Did you lose? And of course, don't forget to leave the tips that you have for slowing down your eating down in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss all the fun content coming out for you in 2022. Check out that description box down below again for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Definitely head over there as well. Merry Christmas, friends. I hope you have an amazing, amazing holiday, and I will see you all in tomorrow's 
grocery haul. Bye!